Missy Missy Wong from the Day in the Morning Show. Hey, you guys see Missy Wong? She see lots of light, so she go check on chicken. Now she gone. I guess she flew the coop. I gotta go. See ya. Bye bye. Hey, this is UFO Buster Radio, episode number 117, so let's just jump right in it. Cue the music. This is your host, Manny Moonraker, and welcome to episode number 117 of the UFO Buster Radio UFO Report. And we actually, you know, this week we don't have specific UFO stuff, but we have things from space, so I guess that kind of kind of counts because stuff is supposedly, uh, allegedly, remarkably, and, and we would like to think that stuff is coming from space, so... That's what we're going to talk about in this episode, but before we get into that situation, I want to thank David and Ronnie and anyone else that has been able to download the UFO Buster Radio UBR UFO News app from the Android Google Play Store and has given me feedback, and we're going to work through that feedback. It is now available in the Google Play Store. The link is going to be in the description, so if you want to get in and try it out, It basically is aggregating news from certain sites. Every month we're going to add more sites, change the look of it here and there, and it's going to be more interactive. I'm going to have have some more things in it that uh, everyone's going to be able to use. And if you have suggestions, just like these guys did, send your suggestion in, whether it be through Facebook, the UFO Buster Radio page, the Manny Moonraker page, you can tweet it to me at UFO Buster Radio or on Google Plus, uh, plus Manny Moonraker, Or you could just email me if you want. Just email me the email address that's in the description for this and any other podcast episode. Just send me the info. Definitely we're going to consider it because you are basically the people that are going to use it. So go ahead and download it. The Apple one is still kind of crawling. We're kind of getting close to it, but I have no (laughs) idea. Apple is so damn difficult. God damn it. And they're just they're just hard to work with, but I'll get it eventually. I'll let you guys know. So there you go. Let's get into our first story of today. Now the first story for today is a fantastic one, right? Because we hear all the time this thing about water and space. Water and space. If there's water and space, there's got to be life somewhere. And we've recently had all this news about Mars. And of course we have all these other moons everywhere else, Saturn. Uh, Jupiter, there's, you know, there's a shitload of water. And we got oceans in Enceladus. All this other nonsense. Well, it turns out that uh, our very own moon, and I'm not talking about the one you carry around that you like to let loose whenever you grab yourself a couple of drinks. I'm talking about the moon that's up there, the one that uh, makes people turn into werewolves. That moon, apparently a few years ago, uh, someone detected that there might be ice under the surface of the moon. Well, lo and behold, there's a news report out today, and the link is in the description if you want to read uh, more into it, that not only is there water under the surface of the moon, by golly, Miss Molly, there is water on the surface as, as well, in, in the form of ice. This discovery, I'm not, <laughs> I don't even want to jump into when they made the discovery, because this is a, the type of things that makes me want to say that uh, NASA is full of rubber dickers. But anyway... Officially, the discovery apparently is suggesting to many people that now when we do lunar trips, we might be able to chill out there for a little while because we have a a water source. Now, let's not get this twisted because the water source, uh, if I can say that like five times, the water source is actually um, found in the darkest areas of the moon and the temperature never goes above minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So, no Fuck's given it is damn cold. That's why it's frozen. Now, it took them quite a few years to figure this out because apparently there was a uh, a mapper called the NASA's Moon Mineral Mineralogy Mapper M3. The instrument 
was aboard an Indian spacecraft that actually explored the moon back between 2008 and 2009. Yes, we are in 2018, but just recently they were looking at the data and they were like, oh shit, guess what? There's actually signs of actual water ice, not water vapor, not leftover residue water from when the other guys were up there. Maybe they took a leak or something. So what they're saying is that they are pretty certain that there's ice in the form of water or water in the form of ice or vice versa. Vape, No vapor here. All the vaping happens here in the U.S. and around the world. But there you go. That's what's going on. There is actual ice on the moon. People think it's going to be good for future exploration on the moon because we just gave up for the hell of it. Not because somebody said don't go to the moon. Because we all got tired of faking it. I don't know. You guys think you, Some of you guys think we faked it, so I don't know. I'm trying to placate to everyone. For those of you who say we faked it, we faked the moon... We had no idea there was ice there to begin with. For those of you who said we went, somebody fucked up and dropped a cup of water in the moon. Now we think there's ice everywhere. Whatever the case may be, according to this particular uh, satellite thingy instrument that was around the moon back when there is water ice. So I'm sure there's going to be an increased interest in the moon now. But again, isn't the idea that where there is water... There is life. So now, are we going to be pondering that our closest, you know, stellar space neighbor, the guy that causes all the freaking waves on the planet, is it possible that there is also life on the moon now that we know that there is more than just water on the surface, but there, that there's actually water frozen there? Inquiring minds want to know. Check out the link in the description. Let's go to the next one. Hey guys, this is Marty Angler from Angling Waters Outdoors, and you're listening to my pally, Manny Moonraker, right here on UFO Plus Radio Network. Hey Manny, you know why I fish at night? Can you say UFO? UFO. That's right. So word out on the street is that many of you believe that the earth is flat. You're not alone if you're in the United States because apparently America the Great. Many people here are believing more and more every year over the last two years that the earth is as flat as many butts are on it. The article is titled more and more Americans are starting to believe the earth is flat. And you know... I didn't know this, but apparently some guy by the name of Bobby Ray Simmons Jr. For those of you who are not into the hip-hop scene or pop culture, pop music, whatever it is, he goes by B.O.B. And apparently he launched a crowdfunding campaign to send satellites into orbit to determine if the, uh, the Earth was either flat or if it was, you know, roundish, right? Because we know it's not totally round. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit of an oddball. But the deal here is that apparently he's not the only one. He might have just started a movement. And we know that not too long ago, Shaquille O'Neal got a, got in on it. And, and people were thinking he was faking and just doing a joke. Or that's what he made it seem like. But come on, Shaquille. At your height, your ass should be able to see that the damn thing is not flat. But no fucks are given there because Shaquille... He kind of still left it open, like he kind of believed, didn't believe. I have no idea what's going on. The other thing is that on November 9th of last year, we know that uh, close to 500 Flat Earthers assembled in North Carolina for their annual uh, Flat Earth International Conference. So it's not just America, people. It's international. So somebody else must have chimed in and said the Earth was freaking flat. And it just makes you wonder, why can't we prove this? I mean, we're not trying to prove that there's aliens. We're just trying to prove whether or not the damn planet is flat or not. Are we sitting on a gigantic turtle? Do we go too far and fall over the edge into oblivion? Into the turtle's mouth or the turtle's butt? I don't know which one it is. But the deal is that uh, according to Google, trending shows that over the past two years, the searches on flat earth have close to tripled. That leads them to believe that more people believe on the flat earth. I think that more people are talking about it. I don't think more people believe in it. 
you know, I think people are just uh, talking more about it because, you know, you got people like B.O.B., you got Shaquille O'Neal, and, and there's other people that have come out uh, in the last few years talking about the flat earth. Whether or not they all believe it, I don't know. But apparently B.O.B., back in uh, 2016, was tweeting about this, and NASA, known as the Space Rubber Dickers, actually responded to the tweet, and a spokeswoman from the organization said... Uh, to the Washington Post, actually, that we don't think there's a debate to be had. Well, drop the mic. They said, to hell with you, B.O.B., we're not even going to buy your records anymore. So the truth is, there's got to be a way to finally answer this question. You're not freaking shooting this thing into the next galaxy. Somebody get up there and figure out what the hell is going on. The majority of the planet does not think that the planet is flat, but, I mean, it's growing. The situation is getting out of control, and people are thinking this planet is getting flat, or has been flat. And I bet you none of them take cruises, because they'll fall right off the damn thing. Somebody figure it out. There's billions of dollars up there. There's billions of rubber dickers out there with tons of money. One of you fuckers go up there and come back down and let us know. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking that Virgin Atlantic, or Spaceship One... We need to maybe get a message to them and let them know that they may be the ones to actually solve this for everyone. So, somebody call that rubber dicker and find out if he can jump in on this conversation. He might just come down and say the damn thing is flat and then we're all fucked. There'll be no way to get out of this, basically. So, if Richard Branson goes up to space in uh, Spaceship 1 or 2, whatever the hell it is now, and he comes back down... And says it's flat. We're all fucked. It's it's over. The conversation's over because, you know, I mean, what what, what else can you do? You're going to send someone else up there? We'll send Donald Trump. We'll send Trumpy up there. And he can bigly let us know what's going on. Now, can Trump trump someone like Sir Richard Branson? I don't know. It's possible. It could be. Maybe we could just declare war on just Richard alone. Take out one of his islands and just get rid of him. But again, you know, I just, I'm just... That's a conspiracy theory on my point. I don't know if Richard Branson is going to go up there and tell people that the earth was flat. I really hope he doesn't, but, uh, you know, shit happens. When you got that much money, you can say whatever the hell you want, and people will follow you to the end of the world, especially if it's flat. Those are the stories for today. Nothing about UFOs, but if you want to follow me and Bugs, the UFO hunter, follow me on Instagram at Manny Moonraker. On Twitter, at UFO Buster Radio. The Facebook page is Manny Moonraker and UFO Buster Radio. And lastly, on Google Plus, plus Manny Moonraker. And, uh, you know, do me a favor. Go in there. If you have an Android phone, go into the Google Play Store. Test out the app. Give me some input. Yes, it does have advertisements. These things are not free. They have to pay for themselves in some way. But uh, like I told some of you that responded, I will do my best to keep those at a minimum. But think about how great Bugs the UFO Hunter would look in an alien hunting suit. Courtesy of you downloading the app. With that said, this is Manny Moonraker. Stay tuned for a rerun this weekend. Sayonara.